Welcome to Living in My Own World, where a secret has been revealed. Oh my god, I can't believe Dad found out that I have a world inside my brain that I can create by imagining it. Oh, believe me, I'm as shocked as you are. I just wonder how the secret got out. Huh? Hello. That would be him. No, please don't hit me. I quit. Okay, I quit. What? How am I supposed to believe you? You told my father about this anyway. I know and I'm sorry, but I just got tired of doing his evil deeds for him, so I quit. Okay? I want to be your ally now. I can help you. I know everything that that is going to do, and I can tell you his whole operation. But please, let me tell you and let me be an ally. Okay? I've turned to the side of good. I have left this madman. And I'm trying to help you, but you don't believe me just because I told your father about this world that you have created. So please trust me. Okay, but how did you quit? All right, okay. I'll explain. You told his father? You obey me. You do what I tell you to do. I know, but that was until I realized how evil you are. And now I've decided that I'm not going to do anything else for you because I quit. Fine. Then your life won't be spared when my plan is executed. Well, at least I'll be on the side of good. Goodbye. My plan will not be ceased. I will rule this world. That is what a true leader does. You better watch out, Quincy Davis. Because my plan will work. And when it does, you will no longer be leader. There will only be me and my great army. <laughs> So that's how everything happened? Yes, and ever since then, I made a vow to fight by your side against that madman. So how is that rock coming along? We're going to need it to get to that madman. Not so good. We've only made it halfway. We need one more half of it to go, and then we can finally reach him. But until then, the future's unclear. <gasps> oh my goodness, I just remembered. Today's Wednesday. Our play is Friday. We have to get rehearsing. Come on, Quincy. Avia. Who is that? Avia Reynolds. Who's there? Who's talking? Come find me. Where are you? Come find me, Avia Reynolds. Who's there? Avia. Are you ready to go to rehearsals? Um, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Okay, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Avia. Who is that? Avia Reynolds. Uh, what? Please, hurry. Where are you? We must meet as soon as possible where will i meet you come to astoria castle please hurry we must talk quickly astoria castle it seems like i'm gonna have to go to astoria castle so i can figure out who's been talking to me all this time here we go okay how does quincy do this Is this Astoria Castle? Yes, this must certainly be Astoria Castle. 
Okay. Where are you, ma'am? Ma'am? Oh, I guess she's not here. Whoa! Who are you? Greetings, Avia Reynolds. What I am about to tell you is something that you must believe me of. So please trust me when I say that I am you from the future. Okay, me from the future. What did you want to talk to me for? I came to talk to you because you are special. Just like I was when I was your age. Which I was your age because I'm you from, from the future. But anyways, I had to talk to you because once Quincy introduced you to the world of his mind, this place, Astoria, you were marked with a special role and, and a special responsibility. You see, I am Queen Astoria from the future. I mean, Queen Reynolds from the future. And since you are Reynolds, then that makes you me, the Queen of Astoria. But wait, wait, wait. If I'm Queen Reynolds, does that make Quincy King Quincy of Astoria? But how could that be? I sensed a special bond between you and King Davis, King Quincy Davis, and we fell in love with him. And now we're the king and queens of Astoria. So please, don't be frightened, because I promise that the future will be safe as long as you defeat Willow. Willow? But he's a good guy. He lies. He is not the bad person that he is now. He... At least he's not a bad person right now, which is why you have to stop him before it's too late. I never told you this, but I think that that is time that you learn the, tr the truth. The truth about the fact that Willow is the madman that all of you have been looking for this entire time. And he's taking place in his temple up in the skies. And he's making a creation that is too dangerous for you to fight alone. Which is why you need help from Quincy and the Willow from your time. But how do we reach him? Quincy is building a rocket. Help him build that rocket as fast as you can and you will reach him. Fight with him alongside Quincy Davis and the Willow from your time before it's too late. And just know that I will be watching over you the entire time. Goodbye, Avia Reynolds. And I hope that you will become who I am now in the future. I pray for the best of you. And I will see you soon, Avia Reynolds. Um, Avia, who are you talking to? Oh, no one, Quincy. And it's not just Avia. It's Avia Reynolds, Queen of Astoria. Oh, man. How did you figure it out? How did I figure out what? Well, Avia, I'm not proposing to marry you, but I was just wondering if you would do me the honor of becoming Queen Avia Reynolds of Astoria. Oh my gosh, yes! Thank you, Quincy. sweet so i guess that makes you the king and queen of astoria um yes and also we would like you you to help 
us build the rocket to reach the madman. And we would like you to help us fight him, whoever he is. Okay, you have my word, I promise. Ugh! They're getting too close to finding out the truth about me. At least I'll still have my creation to defeat them before they have a chance to figure myself out. Soon you will rise, my great creation, and you will help me become the true king of Astoria. Ha 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 